Hello everyone. How are you doing today? You may or may not know that earlier this year I got into diamond painting as a hobby, like a creative. diamond painting and if you miss that I'll link it below in the description so you can see me start a painting and then I did another video finishing it it's, they're pretty relaxing I think and they're long videos so after I finished that one I took a wee break before I started on the second diamond painting I have and I finally finished that a few weeks ago so let me show you that here is the finished product isn't it pretty? I love the vibrant colors and the way it turned out I haven't gotten a frame yet so it's kind of just sitting around but today I would like for you to join me in the organizational process of starting a new painting I mentioned back in my other videos that I got a Kiki's delivery service painting and I'm so excited about it so here it is. It is massive. <laughs> so there's a comparison between the two and my mountain painting had what? 55 different diamonds, colors. And this one has 81. <laughs> one different colors of gem, diamond, drill, whatever you want to call them oh boy, this is gonna take a while so anyway, this uh, organizer that you see here I bought this from Joann's, Joann's Fabrics before I started the mountain painting that would help me stay organized it was really great I um, I'm pretty pleased with it uh, I used a coupon so I got a good deal on it but this is all of the gems I have left after finishing that it's quite a lot like look down here there's so many so many left so what we're gonna do today we're gonna empty all of these we're gonna peel off the little stickers and then we're gonna put new stickers on them for the kiki painting and cut open the pouches and fill this up for the next painting so it's gonna be all organizing should be pretty satisfying and it's probably going to be a bit of a long process so if you want to grab your own project to work on while we do this or if you just want to put on this video in the background to listen to zone out that's totally cool uh, let's take that off nope, that's my right I just gotta show you guys. Look at these are the. This is the gems for the game. Oh my god. 
Look at this. It's insane. These drills are square while these are round, so I can't really save any of these as they're totally oops, I <laughs> don't bump the camera as they're totally different style. Um, and I don't know when the next time I like buy another painting will be. They're pretty expensive, so um. So um, for now, I'm just going to be putting them all in a bowl together, I guess, and I don't know, maybe I'll do like my own project with it, or maybe I'll just throw them out, I don't actually know. Yeah, for now, they're just going to go in this bowl. some baggies, and I thought I would put the stickers in here. Nice sounds. <laughs> I'm actually wearing my headphones today, and I'm like listening to my audio. These first five are all the really sparkly drills. You may be able to see just how sparkly they are. Really pretty. So the flower delivery, the same with the next painting. It has, oh I forget how many, but quite a few of these. They're called Abies, Aurora Borealis. Oops, you just come back here. There we go. We're gonna make like a pretty soup, <laughs> diamond soup. And I wasn't actually planning. Starting this painting yet? I just wanted to like prep it. So, if you guys really enjoy this and you really enjoyed my previous diamond painting videos, and I know a lot of you did, then let me know. Leave a like. Maybe I'll work on it on camera with you guys. It is really fun. There goes yellow. Pretty sparkly yellow. I'm 
not really like shutting them close because I'm going to leave them open anyway when I fill them up with new drills and then this is like the plain white As I was, well, when I got it, they told me they were discontinuing it. So I got one of the last ones. This is S. That looks so pretty. So, I don't believe they make this anymore. Oh, I missed quite a few in there. Why did you tell me? Oh, they're at the bottom. Okay. Let's see if I can get them out with my finger. I need to cut my nails, but I thought I could take advantage of having slightly longer nails for this. color again in another painting but there's no guarantee of that so I feel like realistically I should probably just throw them out
Guru Show by MLL. I think we're a long way out if that is the case. Oh, is it like solid black? How pretty. We're making our own little art piece just in here. Finished the first row. Gosh, this is gonna take a lot longer than I thought. Cause I have to be all like slow and quiet. I'm gonna try to pick up the pace. And I think I'll wait to take the stickers off and do that all at once. Okay, that was gray. You. like a light gray and kind of a blue gray this is 16 which is like a u-turn <laughs> symbol i love the different symbols they make then that was more of the same thing that's what these extras in between mean they're there were so many of that one color that it took up multiple boxes. And by the way, <laughs> there's, I want to say, 78 containers, boxes. And if you recall, there's 81 colors in the Kiki's Delivery Service painting. So, I'm going to fit. Which I didn't know when I bought it. But I figured it wouldn't be the end of the world. Whoa, so pretty. There's a cat hair in here, of course. Another shade of grey with an equal sign. Yet another shade of grey. J. J for grey. Rhymes. And then kind of a cross. A cross between like a grey and beige. Kind of a greyish, I suppose. Which is pretty popular in um, like houses, interior design. It's like a neutral. There's a lot of purples in this as well. There were a lot of blue purple colors. Because when I was a sky. There's also some kind of special drills in the next one that are called, uh, I think called Diamond Dust? Diamond Dust Drills. So they look extra special too. There's a lot of this yellow. or something like that. I don't know. It's been a while since I was actually like looking at it. I like this shade. It's a navy that's so dark. It's almost black. It's beautiful. And 
you probably saw from the canvases, but these are all from <laughs> Diamond Art Club. Diamond Art Club. I'm not sponsored by them. I paid for all these myself. And they were expensive. <laughs> but I've spent hours and hours on these and had a great time, so it's worth it in my opinion. You know, all hobbies cost, and some are even more expensive. will be available. I know that the flower delivery one is pretty popular, so they probably try to restock it a lot. One of the reasons I went with Diamond Art Club over like other cheaper options was they hand render the canvases for the, the artwork because um you can go on like Amazon and get cheap or diamond paintings, but they often come out with a kind of blurry result because they just took an image and they ran it through like a pixelator. Whereas for these, someone goes in by hand to make sure the colors pop and it doesn't look blurry that it's a sharp crisp image not only that they don't just steal people's artwork which they definitely do on Amazon and I very much value artists and want to support them and make sure that they get the support they deserve. So I could just never live with myself if like I was paying Amazon or someone and not the artist who created the work. So the artists agree to have their work used with Diamond Art Club and they get a portion of the sales. I don't know how much, but at least their art is not stolen. Which is awful. Or, you know, used to train AI or whatever, which... Don't even let me get started on that. They keep falling through, but it's okay. Another thing you could use instead of, like, buying... This was a bead. A bead storage container, which, you know, they're like basically beads. But you could also use like a little tackle box if you go to an outdoors store, Bass Pro or whatever. Um, I've actually gotten those before for little plastic pieces for board games. Some of our board games, like Star Wars Rebellion and War of the Ring, have loads of little tiny pieces everywhere. So we got some like tackle box kits, and they were really cheap, and then they're stored, organized. Oh, we're almost done. But then I got the finish piece. Look how full this is. Oh, the static. They're sticking. Sorry, my camera doesn't. 
so I'm okay with that. Last one, L. Pretty purple. So many purples. Oh, there's so many down here. I'm not gonna get them all. My nails are so long that it's... <laughs> Do you see me struggling? the stickers off. These little diamonds, they, they, they go everywhere. It's like pet hair. I have found countless little gems on my floor. them all up. Probably a good thing I grew my nails out so that I could peel up the stickers. This one is really stuck. Like, when I first did this, I getting them to stick and that's like I can't can't get them off. working on the mountain one for like three months or something but on and off like I didn't touch it for like a month or so and then I worked on it like non-stop for a couple weeks
stickers are coming out. You can really see how many are stuck at the bottom. me. <laughs> I don't remember that happening, but I never really noticed. Like, the other day, I was in the shower, and all of a sudden, my stomach kind of started burning, <laughs> and I looked down, and I had, like, these long scratches across my stomach, and I'm like, when did that happen? I don't remember any of them scratching me. They never do it on purpose, they're just playing, you know. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. It's our trash bag. Okay, so <laughs> each painting comes with this little thing. And it shows you what the artwork looks like, and then, like, the size, and then you can put the date, which <laughs> I keep meaning to do, and, like, I never do it. I'll do it this time. And then, these are the stickers. This is also a sticker. Is it not? I thought it was. Oh, it does come with one, but I think it's this. It's kind of squished. But it's like a... You can take this off and you can put it on, like, the box so that at a quick glance you can see what was in the box. For those of you who <laughs> have so many, you gotta keep track of them. But this painting has so many that they don't all fit. Look, I have two. For 68 through 81. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have make some sacrifices. A few of you aren't gonna make it on here. And I'll probably have to put them in like these baggies. That's okay. Let's start. Okay. Let us begin with the sticker in. <laughs> so we have um, one through nine and then some random shapes, and then some letters, and a Chinese character. That looks like the word Zhong, which means like middle or center, and is part of the word China in Chinese, by the way. So like, obviously, it's not called China, it's called Zhongguo, Zhongguo, and that would be the first word. And there's like a tree. Some of these are familiar symbols from the last one, but again, these are square, so our big bowl of random gems wouldn't work. But they are like the same colors. I had that. I had this black V. I had that top one. Uh, this N. I've had that a lot. I've had that in both paintings. I'm pretty sure that was the background color for the cat painting. Dollar sign. That X, too. Okay, anyway. They don't 
don't really... they're not the stickiest things in the world Which is why... see they pop up That's why I was surprised that I was struggling so much to get them off One Two Just like you. You're a star. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Star. Three dots for number 12. I don't even know what to call this. Uh, right angle with A sort of sixteen, just a dot, or it could be the multiplication symbol in math mathematics. Okay, we got okay, okay. don't have is they pay a little bit more attention to the symbols so that you don't get confused like there won't be too many that are similar color of a similar symbol because I know some people have I've seen photos where like the colors were like indistinguishable and it was hard to differentiate the symbol it just makes it difficult we have a delta see I haven't run into that issue yet of like, which, which one is this? <laughs> Number 23, Delta. This one makes me think of a planet with a ring around it. Let's say it's Saturn. <laughs> Saturn for 24. We got a check mark for 25. Check. Case E for twenty six. Upper 
lowercase e and lowercase e over there. We have a heart for 27. That's how old I am. Yay. So it's a heart for us. <laughs> and jump for 8. That's 28. Jump. We have a pointing up into the left for 29. Up into the left for 29. We got a uppercase G for 30. Uppercase G. We have what looks like a Tetris piece. shaded box or a upper triangle for 33 and a big T for 34 uppercase T very similar color uppercase S so they're very close but the S and the T are pretty unmistakable, so I don't think I should get them confused with the difference. We have a, like a U-turn symbol for 36. I don't know what to call this one. It's like a tilde over a line. Tilda with the line for 37. We have the this one has two names. Maybe you call it a pound symbol, or maybe you call it a hashtag. Growing up, it was a pound symbol, and then at some point, when I was like a teenager, it became a hashtag. Diagonal lines for 39. Two diagonal lines. Just bump the camera. We got a big triangle that's askew for 40. Askew triangle, kind of like a play button but reversed, I feel like. Because the play button points right, doesn't it? Yeah. I've got an uppercase Y for 41. We have what looks like a sunrise for 42. Looks like a sunrise. Big square for 43. Big square. 43. We have like an upside down V or an arrow pointing up for 44. We have what looks like a bow tie for 45. Or like a squared off infinity symbol. I'm gonna go with bow tie because that's more fun. 45 bow tie. Wait, didn't we have an H? No, I guess not. Okay, 
uppercase H for 46 uppercase H We've had an arrow pointing up to the left Now we have an arrow pointing down to the right And it's number 47 Who comes up with these? I wonder Whose job is it to be like Let's come up with more symbols We got an uppercase V Number 48 Uppercase V And a little cursive kind of fancy looking N For 49 Lowercase N An equal sign For 50 Uppercase F for 51 Uppercase F for 51 We have a square outline for 52 Square outline for 52 We have two For 53 Two dots for 53 This one Like a single railroad track For 54 Also kind of tree looking uh, What is this? Like a diagonal lowercase t For 55 We have a division symbol for 56 Division symbol for 56 And uppercase X for 57 Give them my own weird names This one looks like an anchor Anchor symbol For number 60 Anchors away everyone What the heck do I call this? A pregnant line Or A sideways Sunrise For 61 We got A dollar sign 62 Dollar sign 62 This one looks mathematic Like the division symbol For 63 Dot dash dot sort of Okay, we're getting into cards now We have the suit of diamonds For 64 and the club for 65 Or you could just say a clover, I feel like Three leaf clover for 65 There we go And an uppercase A For Allison <laughs> For 66 These kind of got squished together and just a line, a dash for 67. We finished the whole sheet. Okay, next sheet. Uh, two parallel lines.
symbol like water or bacon for 72 decipher that how you wish water or bacon this one looks like a tent like a camping symbol for 73 like campsite here you know one looks like a location pin to me for 74 location pin for 74 this one is just another horizontal line this the ang arrow because it's pointing down like his head oh my gosh ang arrow what on earth is this? this looks like those videos where they compress something and it squishes we're gonna call this the squish symbol <laughs> And our last one is just a cross, like a Swiss cross, though. Or a plus symbol for 81. Oh my gosh, so many. Look at this. And now we're gonna fill it up. And look at, see it? They're like, they're popping up. They won't stay. Hence why I was so surprised. They're it was difficult to take them off. They don't want to stay. Okay. So I now have to open up that ridiculously big bag of um, the gems. I've got my super cute my melody scissors. And I'm gonna open it up down here. So crinkly. Yeah, 
like, have you ever seen so many of these? Like, if you do diamond painting, have you ever done one this big? I'm quite overwhelmed. Like, So they're in these like long snake like characters. Like this is all one connected. One end is here and one end is here kind of deal. So I'm gonna go like one at a time, cut open a bag and place it. Um I'm just gonna try to fill all of these. I'm gonna have way a lot of these left over which I'll just get to whenever I'm painting and like I run out so um, we'll be filling this up but we'll be going through Okay, so this is the one I'm going to start with. It says 319 on it, which is this one right here. 319. Might be easier to just take that out. In fact, I think I should do this maybe over the ball. run out of room. <laughs> Great. I'm gonna have a lot of bags just sitting out and about. Okay. I hope nothing's stuck. There we go. P19, which is a very pretty... I say P19, P319. It's a pretty deep emerald forest green. Let's do 351, which is pretty coral orange kind of color. It looks more orange on camera, but in real life it looks more coral. Um, and 351 is right here. You can see this like, I don't know, there's a pretty big difference I think in the background color, which sits on the canvas and the actual color of the gems. and that way it just it's a totally different <laughs> finished look when you've added all the all the gems to the painting i'm afraid to overload it They definitely feel like could have more in them, but okay. We got this brown next. Thirty-eight sixty. Oh, that's down here. J. Thirty-eight sixty. Oh, 
they give you so many extra though that losing one or ten or twenty really isn't a big deal. Definitely feel like I could have filled that one up more. Okay, we got this yellowy mustard 3854. Oh, which is just too above it. It's the pin one. So there's not a lot in here. I think I can do this without needing to put it in there. Nope, I was wrong. I have spilled one. I don't know if it's true, but the, the square one 
ones seem to be a little smaller. I think they are, which I think is another reason why it's tougher. But also because you have to align them, of course. 300. Okay, that's this weird symbol here that I don't know what to call it. realized like how long this is gonna take and I now no longer think I have the patience to do all of this today. I think I'll just finish all the ones that I have on the desk, which is quite a lot, but um, this video is already getting so long. I love making long videos for you guys. I don't even make videos under 30 minutes, or I definitely try not to. If I'm having like a really hard day and I'd rather just film anything rather than nothing, then I'll keep it like 30 minutes or so. But other than that, I really like to make long videos. Because that's what I like, because then it's longer until you have to find a new video. There's like a bit of something blue in there. Purple 550. What's this? G. There's already something in here. Oops. I think that mm, isn't on the back. I don't know. That's a very pretty purple. There may be like a lot of cuts in this video because I'm trying to make sure that nothing is too loud. Sometimes these snapshot really loudly or, or a bag just makes a little too loud of a crinkle or something, and so I try to edit that out, or lower the sound, or something, so you may notice a lot of cuts in my video, and that's why. very pretty mustard color. I enjoy it. Okay, we got this pink 3608 and that's the anchor. I love these little scissors. They're very useful. It's a very Barbie pink. Another pink. Thirty-three. Oh, it 
just all fits. Very pretty pastel pink. Okay, this kind of light mint. 30, 72. That's the weird diagonal lowercase t. too bothered if any spill out into here because it's not gonna make or break the painting because you see how many <laughs> Sperry ended up with all right we got 844 kind of a dark gray green smaller bags, they fit perfect, but the bigger bags, like we did earlier, they tend to need multiple boxes because of the fact that we ran out of boxes. Just not, not good. Ooh, this one's fun. It's a lime green, and it's Z907. I don't remember having a Z before. Oh look, this one down here. Z743. I think this is the bag. Oh, okay. This one goes in the bag. weird how colors don't properly display. Oh, I kind of overflowed that one a bit. I think it'll all fit. Just scoop them back and out the lid. This one should be just perfect. There we go. Perfect. 798. It's right there. The U turn. I turn, U turn. We all turn for U turns. Sorry, I'm a bit silly today. I 
like I try to stay calm during my videos, but that doesn't always work out. And then I get silly sometimes during the videos. But I like to think that that's why a lot of you are subscribed to me or watch my videos or whatever. Because you like my personality. Which in real life is quite similar. I'm just louder. I'm not whispering or talking like this quietly. Nice. Um, this one looks like it goes right above it. Seven nine seven. Perfect. The S for A S and R. Z one that I saw, Z743, the last one down here. And some of them, like I said, aren't really super well made. Uh, they're all okay though. Like, it's good enough for this. Three, eight, three, five. And it's coming along. Like, it looks pretty good. these really Green and I 
it's another mint kind of color it's another Z okay so it's another bag one because I've just noticed the last few are the Z's okay it's that cross plus one I really like that color this is very pretty I don't think I've come across any of this wait no I think these, the Z ones, I think they are the special fairy dust or whatever they're called. Um, just looking at them, I realize they kind of have an iridescence. It's it's hard to notice though, and I don't know if that's gonna even show up on camera. Oh my dear, oh my dear. I thought I could do this. But I'm making a mess. Let me see if I can get it to focus on. Some of these have not a lot in them, so I thought like it wouldn't take too long. Oh, these are sparkly. These are ABs. I keep poking myself with the scissors. They're quite sharp at the end. color that like that I went out of, you know, I'll replace it with a different one. Some of these just have very little in them. 402. Oh, that's the heart. I remember this one. A noise from out my house. 
I don't know what that was. Oh, you know what? I think I know what it was. I think it was a cat being mischievous. Let me go check on that. Okay, crisis averted. There wasn't a crisis, but cool. Let's do this one because it's so sparkly. One, three, four. I wonder if. Yeah, these must be the Aurora Borealis ones, just like in my last one. They were the first colors. There's not a lot. This is a small bag, but you can tell, I think, how sparkly these are. blues out of the way. Okay, that one's not coming out either. So, I'll have to just kind of pry it open with one hand and pour with the other. It's awkward, but I'm doing it. Pour that out. I'm just dumping these on the floor if you're curious. I will clean up later. There's so many spills. From when I spelled earlier. Ooh, look at this one. I'm gonna guess that that's that 107. Let's check. Hey, look at that. I've learned the first colors are AB, the last ones are fairy dust, diamond dust, I don't know, and the middle are just normies. I'm gonna guess that these are gonna go in her bow, her red bow, or maybe her shoes. Just, I don't know, just a guess. I saw one Kiki for Halloween at a party I went to. Uh, one, six, one. And she was with a girl dressed as Tombow, and I just loved it. It's probably my favorite costume of the night because it just made me happy. And I was like, You're Kiki! And she was very excited that I got it. And then I saw her partner friend who was Tombow, and I was like, Oh my gosh, and you are Tombow! And they were both very happy that I got it. In a sea of Barbie and Ken's. <laughs> I've always wanted to do Kiki for Halloween. It doesn't seem difficult to do. You just need a big, shapeless navy dress, red bow, a broom. She even had Gigi a little plush like around her waist. It was perfect. Uh, three, six, zero, seven. I don't know, I've just never done it. I was so lazy this year, I didn't even really do a costume. I just kind of dressed up as a witch, and I put a picture on Instagram. My witch look. It was fun. I like doing like dark makeup, because I don't really get it. It's an excuse to. Most of the year, but I feel like I can do it for Halloween. Even my dad saw the dark makeup I was doing. He's like, that looks really cool. You should do that more. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have the patience and the energy to do this year round. I can't be golf. It's too much effort. I applaud you who do it year round. I do like the, the finish. 
looks like we're about halfway through, I feel like. But if you looked at the, the floor right now, where I have the, the rest of them, you would not think that it's halfway. You'd be like, oh, you just started. result on the canvas ends up looking totally different than the plain canvas. So that my time doing this is justified, you know? <laughs> like, there's nothing worse than spending hours and hours and hours on a video and it gets very few views, so that means I make very little money, which means that my time was not well spent, basically. But then that's just how fickle YouTube is, because I've had videos that I spent a lot less time on and I ended up making a lot of money on so it's kind of sometimes it evens out but videos that I'm passionate about that don't do well always disappoint me <laughs> like I'm very much into diamond painting so these are like passion project videos for me they take a lot of time to set up they are harder to film they take a really long time to edit because I've got so much footage. I mean, I've already had to cut out a lot of fin film footage. I can tell you I've been filming for almost two hours. But obviously it's less for you because of how much I've had to edit out and stuff. So that's why I really get stressed out. <laughs> sad when they don't do well so I'm like, oh, but I loved it and I worked so hard on it but that's just not how the world works, you know just because you cared about something and you put a lot of time and effort in it doesn't mean that people will always appreciate that effort which is unfortunate because personally I think there's a lot of small creators out there who are loving ASMR, they're doing it for the love of it, they're putting all this time and effort into their channels, or they're spending all this money on equipment, money that they're not getting back because their channels are so small. The 
looks like there's a smushed bug right there. That's gross. <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, there's other creators on the opposite end. And I'm not gonna, like, name names. I'm not here to cause drama. And they make, you know, lower effort content or content that's meant to be clickable. But it's not necessarily good. And, yeah, they make a lot of money. But again, if you like it, that's good. Um, we all like different things. That's okay. I'm not trying to draw. draw. I'm not trying to cause drama start anything. I like to be a very peaceful, unproblematic YouTuber. It just is your virtual friend slash big sister and you can hang out with while I organize my diamond painting stuff. There we go. That's a pretty color. Like a burnt sienna. I'm not so great at like knowing the names of colors. I like to try. I did like little online tests to see my, you know, like color range. And mine is pretty good, I think. I don't know why, but um, there's something about <laughs> women's like the cones in their eyes it tends to be a bit better than if you're male. Like, you have a uh, lower chance of color blind. Okay, I can't get that one out. So, there's a stereotype that women are better at colors than men. I don't know why this is the case. I think it dates back to like. Oops. <laughs> I just sent it flying. Or at least I heard, and I don't know if this is true or just silly conjecture that. Like, it dates back to our hunter-gatherer stage where women who were gathering needed better cones in the eyes to differentiate between, like, poison plants and ones that were good, something like that. I don't know. Again, I don't know if this is true or just something silly someone made up. Sounds like it could have a ring of truth to it, but then it could not. Four fifty one. Oh, that's the John one. John. on, which is probably another sign that I need to take a break. I don't... Well, I know I have loads, and I'm not gonna run out of any of the colors. I still don't want to be wasting them, like, essentially throwing them out. Uh, okay. This one is E. I do start seeing more squares in there, so I can tell that I am losing them a little bit. Why did this one need to be in such a big bag? There's not that many. I have a word stuck in my head. Does that ever happen to you? You just keep thinking of this word. The word is squovel, which technically isn't even a word. It's like a portmanteau. But it's like a nail shape between a square and an oval. Squoval. <laughs> I had it as a crossword puzzle clue the other day. I've gotten really into doing crossword puzzles every day. And ever since then, I keep thinking squoval, squoval, squoval. 
because it's such a fun word. Oh, this is the dollar sign. So, you're welcome. Now you're gonna be stuck thinking of Squavel. I just shared my pain with you all. I was like, if I can't stop thinking of it, then they're not gonna be able to stop thinking of it either. <laughs> and here I was saying that I'm an unproblematic YouTuber. that aren't going to fit in these boxes. Like, you saw in my, um, in my previous setup that I had, like, spaces between them, and that's where the extras were going, because I had, like, one color where there'd be so many that I would take up four boxes. And so I would put them, because I only had one sticker, I'd put them beneath it, so I knew that they were corresponding with that sticker. Because I ran out of boxes. That's not gonna happen today. So what I may do, rather than just leaving them in those open bags like I was doing earlier, is I might take those little plastic baggies, which they come with. That's what you're, like, meant to use, but it's kind of tedious to get them out and put them back. That This is why I ended up buying this, because it's worth it to me. Uh, I might use those and maybe like write in Sharpie the symbol and the number. Okay, I've got six left. Nine, six, three. to make things simple. I'm gonna cut all of them at once. my scissors. taken so long doing this that it's gonna be time for dinner 
when I'm done, I need to go make some dinner. Which is... means I'm gonna be working late tonight. That's okay. I like working at night. Um, if I ever do like a day in my life, you'll see that I tend to prioritize working at night rather than in the morning. I like slow mornings so I can sleep in. Wake up slowly. Drink coffee. Maybe even play a game in the morning. And then get most of my work done. Afternoon and evening. But this is pretty late for me to be filming still. Only I'd be rendering at this point. I think this is gonna be an overnight. So few of this one. Three, eight, three, four. Oh, look at you. What happened to you? You're a mess. Get a hold of yourself, three, zero, three, two. Get your life in order. Okay, this one's. There's so few, and they give you like loads of extras that makes me think I did like three of this color on the board, and I'm making it. Obviously got a lot left. I still need to do one, three, four, five, seven, nine, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-six, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, forty-four, forty-five, forty-eight, fifty-six, sixty-five down here, you can hardly see it. 66, 67, 71, 72, and 79, the aim one. The airbender one. And there's my shiny trash pile. Ooh, that's so satisfying. Oh, love it. I've bedazzled my fingers. I really hope you like this. <laughs> I feel like all the diamond painting fans come in clutch whenever I post one of these videos. Like, you guys are the best. You come in and you watch the heck out of these videos and you watch them, like, the whole time. And then that helps them be successful, so... It's really you guys. Thank you so much for watching them. And, um... I, I hadn't known if I would do another because how long they take and uh, just how hard they are but you guys watched them so much that you made me want to make another one for you all and that's why I thought I'd try something a little different today with the organizing so hope you like that and if you want more diamond painting ASMR then yeah I'll do one working on the Kiki painting no idea how the logistics of that would work because that canvas is huge. I'm just thinking about it now, like how I would, how would I film that? Well, that's for me to figure out later and for you to just enjoy and watch. So, yeah, I probably won't do another getting up video because I'll probably do this, finish it on my own, and then have it ready to go if I film an actual painting video. So, you can just keep an eye out for that, and remember, if you want it, then you gotta... well, 
just watched the video really, so you will have already done that, so you can give yourself a little pat on the back. I mean, a like and a comment wouldn't hurt either, but really, like, the thing, I think the most important thing, if you like a video, is like watching the whole thing, and then engaging with it is like second most. But yeah, I tend to notice that like, my longer videos, if they're watched like all the way through, then they have like high, higher view percentage, retention, whatever. I don't know the technical terms. And then YouTube recommends them more. And then new people find them. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you liked it. I hope it was satisfying to empty all this out. And then it kind of looks like it did at the beginning where I had random empty ones in between. <laughs> um, I may finish this before I finish editing it, in which case I will add in an updated shot. In fact, I'll film this voiceover if I finished it. So, oh, here it is. Wow. I'm sounding silly because I'm, uh, I haven't done it yet, so I'm just filming the voiceover in case I do this later, and if I don't, I will delete this and you'll never hear it, but if I did, here's the finished product, and it looks good. It looks ready to paint, and so, but anyway, back to how it currently looks, which is this. Um, it's a little gem baggy, ear to ear goodness for you. Alright, I'm really hungry. I need to go make dinner and stop before my stomach.